Good day everyone, I'm Sean Florlin and Florano and for today's video, I will show you who is Binette Justin Carroll. So Binette Justin Carroll was born on March 11, 1922 at New York City. And she was died on November 5, 2002 at the age of 18. She was studied at Long Island University, New York University, and Columbia University. She is a playwright, actress, and chatter director. Carol attended Long Island University at 1944 and New York University at 1946. Although she was educated in psychology and for a time worked as a clinical psychologist, she left the field to study for the chatter. During her era, Carol was one of the few women directing in commercial chatter. She worked to develop a new form of chatter, the gospel song play. To capture the richness and variety of life through music, chatter, and dance. In 1972, she became the first African American woman to direct on Broadway with her staging of Don't Bother Me, I Can Cook. She is known for the reinvention of a song play, which was revitalized in many of her chatter works. The expression of identity through gospel music in the African-American theater experience is clearly delineated in the development of a song play. She based her first play, Trumpets of the Lord, in 1963, a musical revenue on the work of poet James Weldon Johnson. A strong proponent of arts education, she founded in 1967 the Urban Arts Corps to foster participation by minority groups in all aspects of the theatrical arts. Her adaptation of the Gospel according to Matthew, Your Arms Too Short to Box with God, opened on Broadway in 1976 and was nominated for four Tonys. Carol did not dwell on her role as a female director because she felt it would be self-defeating. Through her effort and talent, she provided communities with illustrations of unity through her production. Her work was about the affirmation of life and people. Common stereotypes of African Americans led Carol into creating and directing new works that positively and artistically presented people of color in theater and arts. Her primary interest was giving voice to African Americans and other minority communities that have been culturally and artistically silenced. She is director Vinette Justine Carroll.